on the starting floor for Arizona this afternoon. Williams once again. Now he goes outside. Horn tries again. Nails it for three. Five nothing Arizona. For the basketball. Back to Horn. He hit his last three. Make it two in a row. Jamel, blow your horn. Williams. Meanwhile, Jamel Horn with a pair of threes gives Arizona the cushion. Taking a shot. Poindexter obviously is their go-to man and you want to see some buckets. Great look inside. We're going to back, right back, Gamini. Put it on the floor, lost it. Perham's going to get it over to Fogg. Kyle kicks it outside. Horn alone for three, and that's three times he has been out on the wing, and three times he has nailed the three. Clock on that particular possession. Derek Williams making the move, getting the contact. No foul called. And he rolls it in. But with the scores and the trends, it's every just a few two weeks. Somebody's in the zone today, and that would be him. He's going to drive into the lane, put it up himself, spin it, doesn't get it. His counterpart, Nick Wise, is going to move to the other side, drive up, it's going to go, and he will have two plus. Jones, the freshman, glides along the baseline, and right now has 11 points. Is it Elston, or is it Ike? Yeah. The tension in the context of Jamel Horn, he did not play against UCLA, and he's a little bit of a different character since having a sit-down. Fog to the other end. And Arizona on a run. Has played this season as far as defensively taking the key players out. Here you see Kyle Fogg kicking the pocket. Jamel Horn, good hands. Fogg finishing. Kyle Fogg keeping his head up, knowing that if he can get at least to the lane, he's long enough, big enough to go ahead and get it to the rack. Great transition play by Arizona. Now you see Momo Jones, Ron just falling asleep on the screen. Momo not hesitating. All he needs is that little window of opportunity to knock that down. Param backing in, popping it up. Well, the Huskies have a dog without two left feet. That would be Quincy Poindexter. He made his stage debut on December 23rd in the Nutcracker. Look at that ballet artist there. Put on annually by the Pacific Northwest Ballet. Played the role of a grandfather. You see, look how elegant in the party scene during Act 1 for the role. He underwent a makeup process that aged him 40 years. Well, if you're a Pac-10 basketball coach, you can age 40 years in a couple of hours. He is the first Husky ever to be the celebrity guest star in the ballet. Oh, how deft he is. There they are. So, what do you think? Size 15, 16 ballet slippers? Hill kicks it out to fall. He does not have a three yet. Now he does. Moving about now. Eight seconds. He's going to win. I think the Wildcats would have loved to have scored a little bit later on Thursday. Here's Nick Wise with three on the shot clock. Nails a three-point shot. Made that... Uh, Possession work. And that's how the half comes to an end. The Wildcats go to the locker room with a 10-point advantage at home against the 24th-ranked Washington Huskies. Let's get over to the coach and Corey. Gentlemen, are you ready? Arizona got off to a great start. They've been hot shooting the entire time. Jamel Horn has started it off with some big threes. Arizona is 7 of 11 from downtown in the first half. And you see the forcing of the turnover. Kyle Fogg getting into the act coast to coast, getting the finger roll. It's all good. Arizona spreading the ball around, finding the fire starter, Momo Jones, in the corner. He's stroking the three. Cats firing on all six pistons right now. Tony Ernie Kent has more years than him. Kyle Fogg. How's he do that? Didn't get it down. Horn does. Arizona on the attack, Kyle Fogg. The For Arizona, they've got one on the bench. That's Solomon Hill. He's got four. Para, meanwhile, with a turnaround off the glass. Out of back, said nuts. I'll just go get my own here and get it. Looking much like the Isaiah Thomas of the other name. Williams underneath puts it in. Little bit of physical paintwork by both. Horn leans in. Left-hander. You don't see that shot that he has. Just not in his rhythm tonight. And Momo puts it up and rolls it in. We talked about 
the military man. Be all you can be. Momo Jones is tough as nails. He gets in there. Cardinal sin. Overton gets caught on his hip. You cannot be on someone's hip as they're going to the basket. That's danger. Momo Jones, he's grown up a lot. He realizes, hey, I'm going to take this. I'm going to pull up, not get the charge, and get it off the glass. Excellent play by the freshman. Horn. Back to Momo. Jones pops it. Oz of foul. So when we come back, Momo and the Wildcats will be down on the defensive end as the Huskies go to the line. Today over the Jayhawks. Meanwhile, the free throws, Mr. Williams has the basketball. One of the Pac-10 final today. In case you joined us late, Momo Jones up, and he will have a chance at another two plus one. Stand and deliver, Momo Jones. Are you serious? Expected from him, but there was a little bit of uh, lack of discipline until recently. Momo Jones is just an intense player. He would get down on himself in practice. He is an absolute killer out there. And here you see him going in one on four off the glass for Anthony. His perk. Horn was hot from three to start, and he picks it up again. Jamel Horn is making it rain down on the Huskies. Long balls. If you didn't know, you better ask somebody. That's his 4-3, and that was definitely NBA range. He's one of those guys that kind of lays in the weeds every once in a while. You hear from him, but these last few games, he's been so consistent. Knocking down the three. Hey, hello, where are you? Come out with your hands up, like we always say. He's out there, and as a four player, traditionally, you're not used to going out there guarding a three-point shooter. That's what he brings to this Arizona team, and here you see him just dropping Quincy Pondexter off at the rack, up and under, and now standing next to Coach Miller from downtown Bottoms. Freshman has six rebounds this afternoon. We go on with 10 points. Wise with a left hander in the lane. Arizona putting some. So he's now in that place. Look at the drive here. The one time you think he's going to continue to distribute the ball, he turns the point. Under 10 minutes to go in the game. Fogg can't put it down. Neither can Perry. Fogg's going to get a second chance and makes it good. Jones. Kyle Fogg. There he goes deep again. How about that? He, he's just toying with Washington. Take it, take it, take it. Goes right to the basket. Doesn't get it down. Perham rebounds to Arizona. Almost with each minute before he starts. Perham working the ball well at both ends of the floor. Here's Kyle again. Uh-oh. You talk about the confidence. Arizona looking for each other. The pump fake. Up and down. That's exactly how you do it. Straight up and down. Great body control. Kyle Fogg delivers for the Cats. Kevin Parham getting the ball out on the break. Anybody can bring it with this Wildcat team. And there you see Kyle Fogg making it happen. Great basketball. Arizona looking for each other offensively. And he knows that. Well, it speaks to something that Sean Miller brought up after the night. Two-pointer that time. Who's getting good looks. He's just in his rhythm right now. And an offensive foul. And... On the deck, and yeah, they want some help, and I believe it's Kyle Fogg who's down on the floor right now. Nope, Kyle's over there. Who is that? Momo Jones. It is Momo. Momo bloodied. There it is. It was the elbow to the mouth. We'll see about him when we get back. Momo Jones. Momo being attended now. There was some blood around either his nose or lip. The referees have reviewed the play several times. There's been no further ruling. Let's have one more look ourselves here. You see Isaiah Thomas getting the ball, getting ready to square it and go to the basket. Momo just right there in his jock. A little too close for comfort. I don't think that was a cheap shot. I don't think there was any ill will. Just, you know, Momo's intense right up on him. And, you know, you saw Isaiah kind of wince after he hit him. He knew it was a bad shot. And uh, your assessment is that of... Rick Suggs puts it down underneath. Daddy is whacked. That time it was Nick Wise who went flying. So the Wildcats, uh, I think they pulled out a trapeze at that end. Everybody's flying around down there. Daddy get on a back cut. Everybody anxious to send that into the cheap seats. And Nick Wise was the first to leave his feet. I'll tell you what's fortunate. You saw what made contact first with the floor was his hands. Now, the question there is, are his wrists okay? That's how you break a wrist. It's our tonight's play of the game. is brought to you by Break Max. Jamel Horn with the left-hander. For more than breaks, complete car care. For more money-saving coupons on a location here, you visit BreakMax.com. 
Jamel Horn needs to do more of that. Continue.